the airline operators of Nigeria is making an appeal. Today you're paying 680 naira per litre. For God's sake, we are now beginning to compromise even in our safety. All of us fly here. We cannot last the next 72 hours. We didn't ground our operations because we didn't want the political actors to make a capital out of something that actually we should have done. Our DG has said this succinctly when he said that safety was at stake. Two days ago, we held a meeting. What from 190 naira to a liter? We woke up one morning two weeks ago. It became 405, 450, 430. Uh, DG says something. With due respect to our DG, yes, the cost of operations fuel will take 30 percent of any airline all over the world. But DG, I think, was talking about the other climbs here in Nigeria. The cost of aviation fuel is about 70% even before this increase. Because in Nigeria, this market forces from his group, he goes in the morning, what you buy is not what you buy at 12 noon. It has been like that over the years. But what happened in the last two weeks, unbelievable. From 190 naira to a liter, the thing jumped to 300 and something from there to 450. And we thought that was. I mean, very alarming. Only for us to wake up two days ago, it became 599. The following morning, I bought 670. We cannot operate this way. We wanted to shut down. But when we look back, with the benefit of hindsight, what the legislation did for airlines, what the presidency did for airlines, we decided to sacrifice for this country. On this table, we find true Nigerian patriots because we are subsidizing what at each level one of you are using in flying. But we cannot continue. We cannot last the next 72 hours doing that. We are indebted. We don't want income to come after us. We are indebted. It is a lot. It has gone to over 150% of our cost. When the DG was talking about safety, he was equally thinking about maintenance of those planes. It's not easy to maintain these things. They are very capital intensive. It's not a business that rewards you profitably. But it's a business that drives your passion. Most people here are doing this for passion. For the sake of country, for the love of country, we are doing this. When we look at the faces of thousands of Nigerians who have given employment, we don't want to shut down. But the truth is that that's the right thing to do. But having looked at these factors, factors of the National Assembly rising up to the occasion, the president, in his magnanimity, signing into law to encourage indigenous investments, we decided we have to pay a price. And the price we decided to pay, okay, what do we do? We cut our flights to about 60%. What we are flying now is about 30%. Because the product is not even available. So I'm surprised. He said he didn't, they, they gave, uh, they have so many volumes of. Uh, this in style that will last 34 days. And uh, see, we are not here to play games because Nigerians know that this thing is scarce. The delays and cancellations that are happening now are unimaginable. Sometimes you fly 2 a.m., 3 a.m., whenever you get the fuel. Yesterday, like he's saying, I traveled to Meduguri yesterday. I bought a fuel at seven, 675 naira from another company. I don't even know the name. Where are they coming from? The major ones that we know, and I have an account with them, Sahara Energy, Owando, MRS, uh, what, uh, uh, what is the other one? Uh, Sahara Energy, MRS, uh, Cornwall, Cornwall, those I have an account. They say they don't have fuel. And then we have to see new companies coming in. And they will tell you 680. Now, we are paying for the last 10 years or something, we've been paying aviation fuel for 180, 160, 170, or 140 uh, naira per litre. Today you're paying 680 naira per litre. For God's sake, we are now beginning to compromise even in our safety. All of us fly here. All of us fly here. Nobody, if you tell somebody to take cab, go by road to Meduguri, he will not go. All of us fly here. So why are we trying to compromise our safety? It's a critical issue. Who is bringing this fuel? And what price are they bringing? Somebody has to regulate them. And the man in the consumer protection that is talking, you cannot hammer the airlines. Because the airlines, we are only taking from other people. You are now saying, let us not increase prices. Okay, 
What is happening to the fuel prices? That has gone 300%. What is happening? So if you tell us that we should not add pr increased prices, what are you doing to the, world, the ones that are supplying the fuel? We do not want to bring the anti-corruption agency into the fold now. It should help us do the right thing. Ensure that those cartels are identified, you are the one to do that. We can go to and we'll go to any length as a parliament to ensure the safety of our Nigerians and the right thing is being done. I will continue to insulate the GMD because I know the person I'm speaking with. And that's why I refuse to allow you to speak. Because I know you, I know your integrity. And maybe it may be surprising to you what you had today here. You may not be aware. And thank God and thank the parliament, thank the mover of the motion who has brought this matter to the public domain. And I believe we must work round the clock, all of us, to ensure we resolve the matter as quickly as possible. We can't shut the airspace. The insecurity in the country, everybody knows. The safest way now to travel for average Nigerian is the airline. So we cannot compound the issue now before us. Government have done sufficient investment and we appreciate the acknowledgement. And everybody knows. So this is why the airspace must work and must continue to work.